I'm First Lieutenant Alexander Lindsay. I am a Human Resource Officer in the Massachusetts Army National Guard. I originally wanted to join the National Guard and the Army in general because I wanted to give back to my family and uh, my friends that have done so much for me during my high school uh, time. Uh, you know, at, at the time when I first was thinking about joining the military, you know, I wasn't exactly sure which way to go. Then finally met with a recruiter. Um, then also went to go talk with the ROTC programs and finding out that I could do these both hand in hand, you know, and get, you know, double the benefits and double the, you know, experience and, and work experience. It was, it was something that I was like, yep, okay. I want to do that. You know, I think this is going to be the best way to, you know, say thank you to my family and to my friends for helping me out and to give give back to them. I first enlisted with the Massachusetts National Guard back in 2011, uh, graduated high school, and, and then five days later, I'm out at boot camp at Fort Bend in Georgia, where I went to become a, an infantry soldier. Uh, then from 2011 to around 2012, I was I was enlisted until I became an S&P cadet through the uh, UMass Amherst Army ROTC program. In my in my opinion, what makes the S&P program really great is that it gives you the opportunity to not only be a part of an ROTC program but also be part of the National Guard. Um, it'll help develop more skills for you in order to become a better leader, and it will help give you a good idea of what the leadership is in the real army. I graduated from UMass Amherst and from and commissioned as a second lieutenant through the Army ROTC program there uh, in 2015. Uh, from there, uh, I commissioned as a uh, adjutant general officer or uh, what some may call it as a human resource officer. So the National Guard serves two purposes. Uh, of course, on the state side, uh, we help out with state activations, uh, whether if it's snowstorms or uh, anything domestic-wise. So, for example, um, I was activated for the Boston Marathon bombings back in 2013. Troops with the Massachusetts National Guard were among the first on the scene after two powerful bombs exploded yesterday near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. That was, it, it, I was still a cadet at the time, and that that was for me at least a, a huge eye-opener. You know, it was one of those moments where I kind of looked back and was like, that's why, you know, I'm doing this. You know, it's like I'm giving back. I'm helping those, you know, that, you know, ask for the help. And, you know, especially for Massachusetts during that time, that was a really, you know, scary time for everybody. And, you know, I was... I was thankful enough to be there to, along with, you know, my, the rest of the soldiers that I worked with, you know, to help the city of Boston, the state of Massachusetts. If you're considering the doing ROTC and also doing the Army National Guard, I highly suggest, uh, you know, talking to your nearest recruiter. Uh, it, it will provide not only the best financial benefits to you, but also the best training benefits, the the best uh, work experience and the best networking opportunities because you get to work with some of the smartest soldiers, the smartest NCOs, and you know, some of the smartest officers you you might ever meet.